Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. At this incredibly dangerous time, I noticed that the Defence Secretary did not mention or say much about the Minsk Agreement. Does he think this is a way that we can go back to further talks? And would he be prepared to countenance, if the Russians pull back, any reduction in the NATO presence on the border as well, in order to bring about a longer-term, secure peace in the, in the region? So, the right hon. Gentleman raised the point about Minsk. I was very clear on Minsk, uh, both in my press conference in, in Moscow and indeed elsewhere. Both Russia and Ukraine signed Minsk. Uh, he will know that in, in those type of treaties, uh, such as we found with the Good Friday Agreement, the treaty is one thing. Rolling out your sleeves and delivering the sequences in the right way uh, is the big challenge. We all remember that from things like decommissioning in Northern Ireland. Easy to write a Good Friday Agreement, hard to deliver. Same for the Minsk Agreement. But we all recognise that the Minsk Agreement is one of the ways through. It, it, it should be. We should do our best to support it being implemented as a way out. On the, his other point about pulling back NATO, we didn't put 165,000 combat troops on the edge of a sovereign country and hold a gun to the head of a democratically elected government. We didn't do that. Russia did that. We have nothing to de-escalate from. Russia does. And I do hope the right hon. Gentleman might condemn the Stop the War Coalition, who seems to paint, who, see, who, who seems to always paint us as the aggressor. Maybe he'd like to go and ask the people of Ukraine what he actually thinks who the aggressor is. Yeah.